Africa. This wild and beautiful continent is a stunning blend of cultures, of habitats, and a plethora of wildlife, making Africa truly the place of hunter's dreams. Be it a heavy bossed dagaboy in the Jess, the spiral horned grace of a kudu in the high veld, or a full maned lion in the salute, the African hunter's dreams may take many forms. But in this world of more than 7 billion people, the legacy of Africa's abundant wildlife is at risk. Loss of habitat, human wildlife conflict, and poaching can conspire to threaten some species. But on the front lines of conservation, governmental wildlife ministries, dedicated NGOs, and professional hunter organizations work daily to conserve Africa's wildlife. And while groups working alone can often address local or regional issues, the need for a continent-wide consultative strategy became apparent. Thus was the genesis of Safari Club International Foundation's African Wildlife Consultative Forum. Bringing together representatives from most of the hunting countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, the week-long forum is one of the largest activities supported by Safari Club International Foundation's Conservation Committee. At the 2014 forum, held in Hawassa, Ethiopia, delegates from nine African countries representing wildlife professionals, ministries, and regulatory agencies discussed a wide range of topics, from wildlife management and conservation to sustainable use hunting and regulatory policy. Unique on the continent, the African Wildlife Consultative Forum provides the only real opportunity for range state policymakers to come together to discuss and compare problems and develop common approaches to the future management of their wildlife resources. As the primary sponsor of the AWCF, Safari Club International Foundation affirms its position as the voice for sustainable use wildlife conservation with decision makers around the world. The meeting is very important because it brings people from all over Africa, people that understand wildlife conservation at the international framework and how do you bring those regulations from that level to the grassroots.